All right, guys, this is something that I shared yesterday. I believe that we are very near to the end of the world, very near to it, closer now than we've ever been. I believe that in all my spirit. Yesterday, I had stated that the world is blinded to the things that are going on in this world, and this further proves that. This is Second Corinthians chapter 4, verses 1 through 7, which is, which is today's encouraging word. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, we have received mercy, and we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Verse 4, In whom the God of this world, little g, God of this world, hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. That further proves what I stated yesterday. We see the things of this world happening. We know that they are happening. We are a spoiled brat generation if we do not get out there and share the truth with the others, whether they like it or not. It is our responsibility as children of God to get out there, to plant the seed, whether small or big, in someone's life and let them know about Jesus Christ today. You have to do your part. For such a time as this, is what we're told in Scripture in Esther. For such a time as this, that we are in right now, we have to seek God's face more. We have to be in His Word more. We can't just depend on Jesus on Sunday and Wednesdays. we got to be in it 24-7. we got to be in that constant conversation, that constant state of mind of Jesus Christ, Him crucified, and how can I share the gospel with others today? That is your responsibility, and I pray you're doing that. I pray you're realizing that they can't see what we see. And unless we share it with them, they can't know the glorious of Jesus Christ in their lives and have eternal life. Satan is offering them the world, as I've seen this in a previous video. Satan is offering them a dying offering where Jesus Christ is offering us eternal life. Through him, we can be saved. Give your life to Jesus Christ today. Give him a chance. I promise you won't regret it. Remember to always be in God's will and not in his way. Later, guys.